NASA develops small origami-inspired robot. Future rovers sent to do some interplanetary exploration could have some tiny scouts along for the ride. NASA has designed an origami-inspired robot built to reach terrains and fit into places larger rovers cannot access. The pop-up flat folding explorer robot, or Puffer, is being developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. The robot has two wheels that can be folded over the body, which allow the mini rover to crawl in addition to roll. The Puffer also has a tail for stability and comes equipped with a high-resolution camera. It has solar panels on its belly and can flip over when its batteries need to recharge. The robot can climb up inclines of up to 45 degrees, investigate overhangs, and be dropped into pits or craters. The puffer can travel on a level dirt path for about 2,050 feet on one battery charge. The tiny scout robots are meant to accompany larger rovers and can be flattened like cards and stacked one on top of the other. Developers are now planning to add scientific instruments and give the puffer autonomous capabilities. The robot is currently controlled remotely via Bluetooth. Future designs may also increase the size of the puffer for added durability. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Let's boldly go where no human has gone before. Alien theorists claim to see crab facehugger in Martian cave. NASA's Mars Curiosity rover has picked up some pretty interesting images of the red planet. The latest fascinating image includes one feature that space enthusiasts say looks very similar to a facehugger from the movie Alien or a giant crab. Can you see it? Here's a closer look courtesy of UFO Vini. Scientists say that seeing recognizable animals or objects in clouds or rock formations is a psychological response called pareidolia. That's why people can see things that aren't there. But what if a giant crab-like creature did live on Mars? That means there's got to be water there too, or the potential for all kinds of life forms to exist in a harsh environment on the fourth planet from the sun. David Lazarus from the Los Angeles Times tweeted, Rock on Mars that looks like hideous crab monster identified by scientists as just a rock. This isn't the first time an image from Mars has stirred up us Earthlings. Back in 1976, NASA's Viking 1 orbiter snapped a picture of what appeared to be a face staring back from the Martian surface. It turned out that was just a rock too. Private German moon mission to inspect Apollo 17 rover. A team of scientists in Germany has developed a lunar rover that will soon fly to the moon and visit the legendary Apollo 17 lunar rover vehicle. The rover, dubbed Audi Lunar Quattro, is made of aluminum and titanium and was created almost entirely with 3D printing technology. It is equipped with Audi's four-wheel drive technology, solar panels, rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, and science-grade high-definition cameras. Two rovers will be carried by the Alina spacecraft, which stands for the Autonomous Landing and Navigation Module. Alina will also carry several other payloads, including a lunar plant growth experiment. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will likely be used to transport the rovers into space. Alina will touch down about 5 kilometers from the Apollo 17 in the Taurus Lithrow Valley. After landing, the two rovers will be deployed and travel toward the Apollo 17 lunar rover. However, they are not allowed any closer than 200 meters from the Apollo rover, per NASA's request. The rovers will send live HD pictures of the Apollo rover back to Earth. The scientists are one of the 16 teams competing for the $30 million Google Lunar X prize. However, they said the ultimate goal wasn't really to win the money, but to reach the Apollo 17 rover. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. 
These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Astronauts might one day hibernate their way to Mars. Getting to Mars from Earth takes a long time, as long as 200 days. A group of scientists funded by NASA think astronauts could pass most of that time by hibernating in a sleep chamber, much like what you see here. Each chamber is outfitted with tubes that lower the body's temperature as well as provide nutrition. An intranasal cooling system would lower the astronaut's temperature by 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which significantly reduces metabolism. The astronaut is fed via catheters attached to the thigh or chest, while another tube carries waste away. This result is what's called a torpor-induced state using therapeutic hypothermia. One concern is muscle atrophy due to lack of use. Scientists think they can address this through neuromuscular electrical stimulation. As the astronauts approach Mars, the wake-up cycle begins. Warming pads slowly raise the body's temperature. It takes roughly one hour for every one degree rise in body temperature. Fully awake after their long nap, the astronauts are ready to begin their Mars mission.